so hello viewers in this video you will see the project presentation I have added my final year project presentation in this video and by seeing this video you will have a very good idea how to present your presentation of final year project so I am going to start the video Hello sir, my name is Anil Yadav and my topic of presentation is Space Shifting Implementation for Free Space Optical Communication and I have done my project under the guidance of Professor Purjesh Lal. This is flow of my presentation. Introduction, Considered System Model, Considered Channel Model, Bit Error Rate Performance for Channel Considering Atmospheric Turbulence and Attenuation Loss. VER performance for channel considering atmospheric turbulence, attenuation loss and pointing error. VER performance for channel considering atmospheric turbulence, attenuation loss, pointing error and angle of arrival fluctuations. Conclusion and future work references. So let's start with the introduction. So free space optical communication is a part of wireless optical communication. FSO is outdoor communication technology and it is having a range of several kilometers. FSO uses the light as the means of information transfer in the free space or an environment similar to free space, maybe air, vacuum or any other gaseous environment. SSK is a special case of spatial modulation. It is used to reduce computational complexity of spatial modulation. In SSK, no modulation is used, so there is less computational complexity but uh, spectral efficiency also decreases but uh, energy efficiency is increased uh, this is my considered system model this figure shows an optical uplink setup where a ground station transmit optical signal toward aerial platform so here in this figure we can see capital H is altitude of receiver a small h0 is altitude of transmitter RA is aperture radius of the receiver Zeta is zenith angle of the aerial node. Theta D is orientation deviation. Z is minimum distance between transmitter and receiver. WZ is beam width at a distance of Z from transmitter. We assume that the aerial based receiver is hovering at a distance Z from the ground transmitter and its location is known to transmitter. Since the link length Z is much larger than the variation in Z direction, so we can neglect variation in jet direction also assume that the instantaneous position is Gaussian distributed with mean 0 and variance sigma d square and orientation deviation is also Gaussian distributed with mean 0 and variance sigma naught square this was my considered channel model equation 1.1 is PDF of channel model and in the considered channel model four parameters are incorporated that are atmospheric turbulence attenuation loss pointing error and angle of arrival fluctuation Equation 1.2 shows the outage probability. Uh, alpha and beta are large scale and small scale adage respectively. Alpha beta depends on right of variance and uh, dependency of alpha beta on right of variance is shown in figure 2. And uh, right of variance depends on refractive index structure parameter and dependency of refractive index structure parameter on altitude is shown in figure 3. Figure 4 and 5 shows the channel distribution under both log normal and gamma gamma atmospheric turbulence for different values of WZ upon RA. WZ is beam width and RA is aperture radius. From these two figures, we observe that the accuracy of derived analytical channel model depends on ratio of WZ and RA. Log normal model is appropriate for weak turbulence condition. Gamma gamma is appropriate for strong turbulence condition. Here we are dealing with a strong turbulence condition, so we are going for gamma gamma distribution. Figure 6 is plotted to understand about the impact of orientation deviation due to hovering fluctuation of re receiver. Such performance degradation due to angle of arrival fluctuation can be improved by increasing receiver field of view. But as we increase receiver field of view, the background noise also increases that adversely affects the system performance. Figure 7 is to study the inherent trade-off in optimizing the receiver field of view. We plot P outage versus PT for different values of receiver field of view. As we can see in this figure, for given value of angle of arrival fluctuations, the link performance is sensitive to the amount of receiver field of view. 
figure 8 in figure 8 we can realize that increasing the amount of field of view does not necessarily increase the system performance figure 7 and 8 shows the importance of designing the optimal receiver field of view to remove the impact of angle of arrival fluctuations figure 9 investigates the performance of considered link when the beam width wz varies from this figure we can see for a given pointing error variance it is clear that the outage performance largely depend on wz and increasing wz does not necessarily decrease the amount of outage probability finally by using the optimal value of wz and field of view this figure 10 is plotted in this the effect of increasing radiance fluctuations and beam wander caused by increasing link length or equivalently increasing zeta is shown now by studying all the figures we can conclude that these results can be used for finding the optimal value of link parameters and designing ground to HAP FSO link without going for time consuming simulations. Now we will calculate bit error rate for considered channel model for considering different parameters at a time. So first of all we will consider atmospheric turbulence and attenuation loss. For this case PDF of channel model is given by equation 3 and we will calculate bit error rate by using union bound and in equation 4 union bound is shown where PEP is pairwise error probability between the symbols BI and BJ DH BI BJ is number of bits in error when BI is decoded as BJ or BJ is decoded as BI figure 11 shows the average bit error rate versus SNR for two transmitter one receiver case here we can realize for non-zero bit system performance improves when we are moving toward uniform bit distribution figure 12 shows ABER versus SNR performance for four transmitter one receiver case here again we can realize system performance improves when we are moving toward uniform bit distribution now we will consider atmospheric turbulence attenuation loss and pointing error together in this case PDF of channel coefficient is given in equation 6 at figure 13 shows for two transmitter one receiver case the ABER versus SNR performance here again we can realize the system performance improves when we are moving toward uniform weights and for non-zero weights figure 14 shows for four transmitter and one receiver case and figure 15 shows for multiple transmitter and one receiver case here in figure 15 we can realize system performance degrades as we are going to improve number of transmitters so there is a trade-off between spectral efficiency and bit error rate performance now we will consider atmospheric turbulence attenuation loss pointing error and angle of arrival fluctuations together in this case pdf of channel coefficient is given in equation 7 and figure 16 shows for two transmitter one receiver case ABER versus SNR performance and here again we can realize for non-zero weight system performance improves when we are moving toward uniform weight distribution figure 17 shows ABER versus SNR performance for four transmitter and one receiver case figure 18 shows ABER versus SNR performance for multiple transmitter and one receiver case again in figure 18 we can realize system performance degrades as we are increasing number of transmitters so there is a trade off between spectral efficiency and bit error rate performance so now conclusion so in this study i have evaluated the error performance of outdoor fso ssk system with uniform and non-uniform transmitter weights for channel model with gamma gamma fading distribution considering atmospheric turbulence attenuation loss pointing error and angle of arrival fluctuations for this system for more than two transmitter and one receiver case the best performance is achieved with a uniform power distribution future scope includes that we can derive expression and analyze bit order rate performance for anti cross nr system means more than one receiver case and for having zero weights transmitters and uh, we can further enhance our study for different altitude and for other modulation schemes like generalized spatial modulation spatial modulation etc and these are some references which i have gone through